You know, there's a question I get a lot and I want to answer it once and for all. That question is, how can I play like you? How can I reach the same level of freedom that you enjoy on the guitar? And while that is a good question, it usually comes with an aside. And that aside is, I know I'm never going to be as good as you, but... And that irritates me because A, how can you say such a thing? How can you possibly know that you're not going to reach a certain level. That's just destructive thinking. And B, you tend to forget that I was a beginner myself. I used to be just as frustrated, confused, and overwhelmed by the sheer amount of musical material and theoretic material, and all those scales and chords and all those numbers in the chords. I had no idea what any of that meant. And no matter how many DVDs and books I've bought, and how many guitar workshops I enrolled into, and how many teachers I've had. I went through teachers like people go through socks, um, mostly because most of them just told me what to play and none of them actually explained the material. And even when they tried explaining it, I was still a beginner so I couldn't understand what they were talking about. Does it sound familiar to you? So how did I break through and reach the, the place where I am and the place where I want to bring you? The answer is very simple. And for that, I need to explain my concept of teaching. I believe that the classical method of learning is actually counterintuitive and is actually destructive unless you want to be a classical musician or a classical composer. Because if you learn the theory first, you still have no idea what the theory means. And it just leads to a lot of frustration, a lot of anger, and you think that you're doing something wrong while it is the method that is wrong. And if you play first and enjoy the instrument and learn, you know, at your own pace, slowly, methodically, just have fun with your instrument, with the guitar, with the music, with the music that you yourself want to play. That's the most important thing, not something that somebody else tells you that you should play. There's no, you know, prescribed song list that you have to learn. And... That's unfortunately the way that most teachers teach, and that's because that's how they've learned. But the way to actually make progress faster than you think possible is to train your ears to listen, to really listen to the music, to recognize the characteristics of the different chords, the different uh, melodies, the different scales, each assortment of notes, you know, two notes, three notes, ten notes. Each of them has a certain characteristic, a certain color, and you need to learn to hear it. And the moment you, you learn to hear it, the moment you have that little small breakthrough, everything opens up. And that's because music is a language for the ears and the emotions. It's a music, uh, it's a language of colors. It's not something that is in the analytical mind, you know, because... If you try to analyze music before you actually know the music, you're actually not doing anything but talking about dry stuff, about, you know, notes, about ink on a page. It's not, it doesn't mean anything to you. And that's why I decided to start releasing courses on my own because my vision is to create musicians, people who actually understand and relate to the music and not just repeat what I show them to play. You know, I want you, just imagine it. Imagine yourself taking the guitar at any time during the day, just picking up the guitar and playing something completely new out of thin air just because you feel like it. Complete freedom on the instrument. In minor keys, in major keys, combining the keys, just experimenting with different, you know, different ideas, just like the ones I show you on the improvisation and soloing playlist on Lick and Riff. Everything will start making sense because you'll be able to hear it and visualize it before you even pick up the instrument. Music will become a language for you instead of something that your hands do. Okay? I'm not kidding about this. You know how I play. You know how I experience music. And then every time, you know, in the, the Lick and Riff lessons, every time I tell you, you pick your own method of playing this, you will have no confusion because you'll know what you want to play. And if you want to change the rhythm, go ahead. You will be able to do that because music will be a language instead of just a tool. Okay, because that's what it is. Music is a language. It's not just a technical thing. Okay, if, if you play using your hands, 
then you're basically repeating something. But if you play using your ears, you're creating something. And even if that's the same thing, if, even if you play the same, the exact same thing, you can hear the difference. You can hear who feels the music and who just plays the music. And I want you to feel the music. And that's why I created the courses. So you can go to lickandriff.com slash courses and hopefully allow me to show you how you can develop your own freedom on the guitar and be the musician that you want to be and can be because I believe in you. Because if I can do it and, and you have no idea how awful I was when I just got started, it took me literally years to make the sort of progress that I wanted to make and I was just frustrated. Okay, I, I know I repeated that, but I was... I, I, I almost broke a guitar once out of frustration, uh, actually. Um, not my best moment, but you got my point. So um, start with ear training. It will open up the entire world of music for you. So uh, I wish you a lot of fun and I'll see you in the next lesson. Bye for now. Enjoy.